letting go of the grasping mind and the concepts and so on is you, you let go of everything like that. So you wouldn't have any sense of... It's, it's seeing the emptiness um, of your conceptual world and actually having the experience of all of that collapsing. And that is an actual direct experience you can have. And it's not the same as um, at that point having an experience connected with love or compassion. It's a different kind of thing. Um, it's another kind of vision. It's a vision of the emptiness of the wrong way that you think. Uh, because actually the way we view the world is, is just false. Um, one likes to think, I know, and I do sort of think that myself, it's just, you know, it's just a little bit false. But actually it's not just a little bit false. It's more or less completely false. One can't imagine how false it actually is. But then it's not a surprise when you think about it, because the falseness of it connects to the cruelty of the world. The lack of compassion, the lack of joy, the lack of happiness, the sangsaric vision of misery. The world is like that because it's overlaid with nonsense. It's the, the avija, um, sometimes it's described as ignorance. I'm not sure I totally go with that as a translation of avija, but nevertheless, maybe it'll do. It's ignorance, it's, um, as some teachers say, it's the insanity of the world. But, you know, the first step um, to becoming sane is the dropping of the conceptual veil that obscures reality. And that's what I was talking about a bit earlier is linking into that letting go um, of what otherwise um, you start thinking of. This is, this is real, this is genuine, this is the way the world is. The world is not like that. Uh, you have to collapse that. Thank you.